Welcome to my Resident Evil Village video. Today is the 30th of November and in Romania we celebrate St. Andrew, however this day can also be considered the Romanian Halloween. On the night between the 29th and the 30th of November, it is called the Night of the Strigoi, so I made this video to talk about the creatures from Romanian folklore within the game. I have made other videos talking about folklore and some cultural aspects from my country, so please check those out. My first Resident Evil Village video was made before the game was released where I speculated what creatures could be in the game, so I recommend to watch that one. Alright, so without further ado, I will talk about the enemies in the game which have their names written in Romanian and I hope it will be helpful for you to at least hear the proper pronunciations. I find it weird that the names of the monsters are written properly, as in, the names feature diacritical marks that indicate the pronunciation of some letters, but other words such as the names of the meals that you can cook, which I have talked about in my previous video, don't have them. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Uriash, which is the plural for Uriash. The letter S with a diacritical mark underneath is pronounced SH. Like when you say, for example, English. We have the regular Uriash, Uriash Strager, and Uriash Drac. Uriash translates as giant, Strager means guardian, and the word Strager is mostly used in historical texts or fairy tales because it's archaic, and Uriash Drac translates as devil or demon giant. Personally, it would have been interesting if they were named Kapkaun, because this word appears more often in fairy tales, Kapkaun translating as ogre, and in Romanian folklore, the way that a Kapkaun is described, I would say that some of the details can be observed, especially in the Uriash Trajer, and the reason why I say this is because of their mask, which is said that it resembles a wolf. In folklore, some Kupka Wuni are described as having the head of a dog and human body, the word Kupka Wuni apparently meaning dog head, so it could be that Kupka Wuni were an inspiration for the Uriash and that's why I believe it would have been interesting if they were named that way instead of the generic term giant. Vrkolak The translation is werewolf, but we have another term which I talked about in my first video the one that I made before Village came out where I speculated what sort of creatures from Romanian folklore could be in the game. Like I said, Vrkolak is werewolf, but they are also known as Prikolic, and this is what I believe that maybe the lichens in the game would have been called, so again we have another term that would have been more appropriate, in my opinion. So here are a few things about Prikolic. According to stories, one can be unaware that at night they turn into a wolf who goes around causing evil deeds, being a result of a witch's curse, or because it is said that they were sold to the devil from the time they were young, while some unaware, being in fact witches or warlocks who took shape of animals, which is often a canine, and they cannot transform into some animals which are considered sacred, such as doves, lambs, or deers. Prikolich are believed to be the offspring of enchanted wolves or devil wolves who interbred with women in the woods or the offspring of enchanted she-wolves who mated with men. It is believed they are dead humans who come out of the grave in the form of a devilish animal such as wolves, dogs or hyenas to harm people. A source says that it shouldn't be confused with the werewolf which is also a demonic creature half man half wolf. The Prikolich can either have the head of a man on the body of a wolf or the head of a wolf on the body of a man. To protect themselves from their destructive influence, people would cast charms with a certain herb popularly called Prikolich tail or goat's beard as I've seen it called in English. So while Vrkolac and Prikolic are sometimes used interchangeably, there are some distinctions and I would say that the lichens in the game were inspired by the Prikolic and you should watch my previous video where I talked about wolves in Romanian folklore. Moraica Moraica is the female Moroi, the plural form being Moraice and they are also known as Moroinice. Moroi is sometimes interchangeable with Strigoi. 
Sources say that this word came from Old Slavonic, meaning nightmare, and it can be found in the Croatian language, and Mora or Mara is one of the spirits from ancient Slavic mythology, described as a dark spirit that takes the form of a beautiful woman and then visits men in their dreams, torturing them with desire and dragging life out of them, and in Serbian, Mora is translated as night creature. Like in my previous video, the one that I made before the game came out, I mentioned that it is said that Moroi can be used to refer to children, specifically the souls of children who died or were killed at birth, and I talked about it because of the fact that we were shown a baby, which is Rose Winters, and the symbol that kinda looked like a fetus, which we now know as the Kado Parasite. Sanka Samka is an evil spirit, a demon in most variants, who is also known by other names such as Avestica and Aripa Satane, the latter meaning Satan's wing, which actually refers to the fact that she is Satan's right hand, and she is also described as a winged creature. Avestica is said to have originated from the Serbian word meaning witch, and the word Samka might have originated from this Bulgarian word, which can mean shadow or ghost, according to the dictionary that I use. Samka or Avestica was responsible for all the diseases and evils that threatened pregnant women. She could torment the mother or kill the baby through unbearable pain. The disease that she inflicts shares her name, Samka, which can mean spasm or fright. I remarked something interesting from the descriptions of this creature, which says that it has curved fingernails and toenails, but in Romanian the word is not curved, the direct translation would be nails like sights. There is a protective charm for those who are inflicted by Samka and she is described, although a bit vague, it says that she is dressed in bear fur, but other sources say that she can transform into a bear among other creatures. And that's why there's a description for her nails, because they resemble the bear ones. Because in the Romanian descriptions it said scythe or sickle, we know that the Dimitrescu sisters use sickles as a weapon and Lady Dimitrescu has claw-like nails. Thus, maybe elements from the Samka were used in their design. I hope the brief descriptions I provided made you interested to look more into the subjects that I talked about in order to make Resident Evil Village content. Thank you very much for watching!